to make your very own friendship bracelets. Jessalyn. Welcome back to my series, Jessalyn's Creative Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make three different types of friendship bracelets. You can give these to your friends or your family. I'm going to give mine to each member of my band, RTW, aka Run the World. Now let's go over the materials that you'll need. You'll need a ruler, a pair of scissors, tape or a clipboard, and embroidery floss. I'm going to be using this STMT DIY Friendship Bracelet Kit and this is available at Justice. For our first bracelet, I'm going to be showing you how to make the super cool chevron pattern. What you want to do for the chevron pattern bracelet is choose four different colors and for each color, make sure that you cut out two strands that are 50 inches long. And what you want to do now is take all of it and make a knot at the top. Once you have the knot, you can place it down, and this is where the tape comes in. If you don't have tape, you can use a clipboard to clip it down, but I don't have a clipboard, so I'm just going to use tape. You can just put it down like this. Now we are going to section off our embroidery floss. So these two colors right here, these are my first colors, and we're going to put them at the ends like this. Basically, one half is going to mirror the other half. So I have pink right here, and then I have pink on this side. Now let me find my other orange strand and put it right there. Same thing with the yellow and green. Both green should be in the middle. Now we can start. To make this chevron bracelet, it's pretty easy actually. So as you can see, I already started a little bit so that you guys can have a better view. What you wanna do is take your first strand of embroidery floss. Mine is pink. And what you're going to do is make a four over your second strand, like this. Then you're going to bring your first strand under your second strand, and you're going to pull it up, just like that. You're gonna repeat that one more time. And you have your first knot. You're gonna repeat those two steps for um, the remainder of your embroidery floss up until you reach the middle, which is like right here. And that's what I'm going to do real quick. first strand is in the middle you're gonna move on to the right side so on the right we have my last piece of embroidery floss and what you want to do is instead of doing the four knot you're going to do a backwards four knot it's gonna look like this so it's a four a backwards four actually over this strand you're just gonna pull it under like that and you're going to pull it up repeat this one more time There we go. And you're going to repeat these two steps till you reach the middle. So we have a backwards four, pull it under. Now that both strings are in the middle, you want to connect them. You're gonna take the embroidery floss on the right, you're gonna make another backwards four over this one, pull it under, and then pull up. Repeat that one more time. And there you go. 
That's how you make the chevron bracelet. You're going to repeat everything that I just taught you until you've reached your desired length. Once you've reached your desired length, you want to knot it at the end. And there you go. You have your very first venture bracelet. Now I'm going to show you how to make the candy stripe bracelet. Choose four different colors, just like our last bracelet, and you're actually going to cut out two strands from each color 50 inches long. Knot it at the top, just like with our last bracelet, and to set it up, you want to take the same color strands and um, bunch them together. So we have pink, purple, um, light blue, and dark blue. To make this bracelet, it's super easy. You just need to do a normal four knot. So we have a four over our second bracelet, and you're just going to bring it up and do it one more time. Just like that. You're gonna do the same thing to the purple strand or your third strand. One knot, and then let's do it one more time. Whoops. Okay. There we go. And for our last one, again, four knots over the string. Knot it. And then knot it one more time. And there you go, the candy bracelet. This bracelet actually curls up on its own, so you kind of have to be careful about that. Just tape it down and you should be good to go. Once you have reached your desired length, go ahead and knot it at the end. You now have a fun candy stripe bracelet. For our last pattern, we are going to be creating this really cute and adorable heart design. The next bracelet is this heart bracelet. This one is actually kind of tricky. You have to know how to do the normal forward knot and the backwards knot, so it includes both of those. I already started it, as you can see. You need two colors of embroidery floss, and for each color, you're going to cut out four strands, 50 inches long. To set it up, you want your border color, Mine is this light yellow one at the ends. So let me find that real quick. Just like that. And then your heart color, your border color, and then heart color. So one half is mirroring the other half, as you can see. And in the middle, you should have both of your heart colors. I'm gonna show you how to make the first line we're going to take our border color and we're just going to knot it like how you would with a chevron bracelet. So for this half, just a normal four knot. And you wanna keep doing this until you've reached the middle. Again, it's just like a chevron bracelet pattern. There we go. We have our border color on the other side, a backwards four, and just grab the piece from under, knot it, do it one more time. Once both colors are at the middle, just connect it by doing another backwards four. That's how you do the first line. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the second one. As you can see, we have our heart color right here, and then our border color. So you're going to take the border color on the left side and you are actually going to make a backwards four. So usually we would do a normal four, but we're going to do a backwards four for the second line. So let me just move these out of the way. And you're going to do this twice. There we go. You can move this piece out of the way. You're gonna do the same with the other side. Instead of doing a backwards four on this side, like how we usually would, we're going to do a normal four. So we have our normal four. We're gonna pick it up from under and knot it. Do 
again, normal four. Pick it up from under, and then there we go. So both of these you can just move out of the way. And now we're gonna focus on our heart color. You're just going to do another normal chevron pattern, so normal four, and then knot it. Do that one more time. And these two border colors, we're just going to um, put it in the middle. <laughs> that, and you're gonna take the heart one, do another normal four over it. Do that one more time. Same thing with this side. Once these two strands are in the middle, you're just going to connect them. There we go. Bring these two border colors back. And now our heart color is our second strand. So what we're going to do is another backwards four over the border color. And you're going to do this twice. Move this out of the way. Same thing with the right side, but instead of a backwards four like usual, we're going to do a normal four. Get up from under and then knot it. There we go. We're going to do the interior of the heart, like this inner part right here. So take your border color and you're just going to do a normal chevron pattern. them are now at the middle so you could just connect them. Bring your heart color back down and now you can finish it off by doing another another chevron pattern. Now you can finish it off by doing another chevron pattern. So let me just do that real quick. other side. them are now at the middle, so we're just going to connect them. And there you have it, your heart design. This pattern is very simple, um, but it is a little bit tricky, so just keep repeating this until you've reached your desired length. All right, I am all done making these bracelets. Now let's figure out who I'm gonna give these to. I think I'm gonna give the candy stripe one to Karis because I think I've seen her wear these really awesome colors and she's just very fashionable, so I think she'll like this. For the chevron pattern one, this one is very bright and cheery, just like Corinne. She's super bubbly and very nice, so I'm gonna give this to her. For the heart bracelet, I'm gonna give this to Haley because it's just really cute and feminine, just like her, and she's very caring. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Justice, turn on post notifications so you won't miss any awesome videos, and I will see you guys later. Bye!